guys. So, I just made uh, the first episode of Basic Sex Ed, or the first real episode of Basic Sex Ed. Um, kind of mixed feelings. Part of me is frustrated because I never really planned on doing that. I didn't really want to do that, but the demand is so high. And I know that a certain amount of responsibility comes with talking about sex, and I just really wish that responsibility didn't lie on me. I wish schools did it. And I now wish, <laughs> I can wish all I want, you know, wishing isn't going to change anything. And the only thing I can do is be that sex ed for people who aren't getting it anywhere else. What's really cool is I've been able to work with a nurse and make sure that all of my facts are verified and so it's a little more legitimate than just some girl talking about sex. It is medically approved, but it's not too fun. I don't know. Then again, I've been down lately. Yet again, I know. And I don't know. It's really stressful um, just trying to pack up everything in this house and clean and work in the yard to get it ready to sell and, you know, thinking of all the finances, financial issues that are going to come up, which are really scary, you know. Um, we're kind of taking a leap of faith and hoping that it works and hoping that my YouTubers continue to support me. Um, you know, you guys have been great, but at any moment it could kind of stop and I'd be a little screwed. <laughs> but um, I have just kind of poured myself into YouTube. And I was kind of thinking today that I don't know that my videos are the best quality sex information out there. I'm not sure that they're the most entertaining or whatever. But what I do know is that I really, really care about my viewers. And I think I have a relationship with them, you know? And that relationship is built on me responding to their messages and uh, trying to help the ones that I think I can and spending hours and hours every day doing that and trying to create a community where everyone feels safe and trying to work on this website that is yet to be up my fault no one else's I really just need to get on the ball but I've been down and I've been really depressed and I went and saw a psychiatrist again lately um, who took just kind of a psychiatric history or whatever you want to call it and it led to just me being so incredibly depressed because one of the questions she asked is when is the last time you felt really good and I was like well do you mean for a day a few hours a day a, you know a couple days she goes no like for for a few weeks at least when's the last time you just felt really good And I can barely remember. In fact, it's probably since I was eight years old. Nine years old. Nine is kind of when the depression started. And it's just... I mean, I obviously have hope that things will get better. Or, or I wouldn't be living. Or I wouldn't be continuing to seek help. And I wouldn't be going to counseling. Um, and I wouldn't be reaching out and trying to help other people. But the hope is so small sometimes. That you just... I guess what makes me just so upset, and I try not to talk about it much on here, because I think I've said what I needed to say, but... I had started on antidepressants about two and a half weeks before I was raped. And it was like the antidepressants were just kicking in and I was just finally beginning to feel I, m I remember specifically saying to one of my best friends 
This must be what everyone else gets to feel like. This must be what normal is. This is great. I mean, it wasn't euphoric, but it was just finally I felt good for those about a week. And then I was right. And it's ever since then, you know, it's just been survival. I mean, it's been more than that, but that's been the main, the main thing, survival. And it, it's discouraging. It's really discouraging. And it's really hard to just bite the bullet and say, you know what, I am, I'm going to be okay. I have no reason to believe I'm going to be okay, but I'm going to be okay. And it's hard when um, little to no one really understands or can understand. It's just, um, it's tough. It's really tough. Trying to keep the hope. Um, trying to believe, believe that things get better, believe in myself. Um, focus on the positive, but it's still hard. And I know a lot of you um, have written me, a lot of you deal with depression, a lot of you are, have been or are at a bad place in your life, and I guess that's part of why I talk about it. Um, part of it's cathartic, cathartic, and part of it is that I know how important it is to not feel so alone in the world. To not feel like you're the only human who feels so miserable. And that someone else understands how hard it is to get out of bed every day. So anyway, I love you guys. I'll talk to you later. And thank you for being my viewers and my friends. Mwah.